What's up guys, Jadis here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about tech and lifestyle. So in the past few months, I've been doing some upgrades to my tech life and some comes with costs, which is why we should always consider a protection for our gadgets. Being in a long search for a great case is actually hard considering that there is no perfect case that would fit your lifestyle and protect your laptop. There are actually times that I'm starting to consider those hard plastic cases that can find over the internet for a very cheap price, but no. Remember, these kinds of investments deserve protection and you don't want it to get any scratch at all. If I were to ask, here are the things that you should be considering when purchasing a new case for your MacBook. First is material. You should always consider what kind of material you want for your case, especially if you want it to be more protected, durable, or maybe stylish. It can be a soft case, hard case, rubberized, or maybe a fabric. Second is thickness. You should always be considering how thin or how thick your laptop will be with a protective case. Some cases out there will always be protecting your laptops from scratches but not from drops. To be honest, thickness should not be a factor you should be worrying if you are like me that wants your laptop live long enough and have a pristine condition after a few years of usage. Third is design and color. There will always be a lot of designs that you can find over the internet and no matter what happened, there will always be one that could fit your lifestyle. If not, maybe a color that could fit your lifestyle. This is for you to be able to visualize how your laptop will look like with a case when you purchase it. Fourth item goes with a brand. So given that you have already visualized what kind of case you want for your MacBook, then you should next choose wisely what brand you want to trust with your MacBooks. And lastly, the price. If it's too expensive, wait for a flash sale. If not, find a cheaper option that is also the same as what you have visualized. This parcel just came in today and so I decided to create this video for you guys that are looking for a new case and hoping to, you know, at least experience the case virtually. Just a bit disclaimer, this case was purchased with my own money for my own use and this is not sponsored. Everything here will be purely me as this is the first time that I'm going to use it, fill it, and unbox it. Here is the item itself. So we have the iBlossom dual layer hybrid for MacBook Pro 13 inches. So it is on 16 in 2016, but it should fit your 2017 and so on model. The steel is still there. Another tip is that it is best to purchase products from a legit sellers rest assured that your item will be safe and sealed when it gets your home. You should have a pretty straightforward experience opening the box and be able to see the case itself with a little insert. So it is also sealed with plastic. Let's get it out of this plastic. So a little insert, you're in the company. And here is the case itself. This should be the bottom part since that, as you can see, there are cutouts for the ports. And this is the one that attaches or snaps 
with the screen. So we were able to finally apply the case to the laptop itself, so let me tell you a few downsides with this case for the MacBook Pro. First is that this case gives a little bit of thickness to the laptop, but that one is expected. So let me show you how thick it is. Next is applying and removing the case from the laptop is actually hard. There are a total of 19 clips. 9 on the top, 10 on the bottom that are really really hard and strongly attached to the laptop for better protection. It feels like any wrong move when unclipping those clips from the laptop will break the laptop or maybe will scratch your laptop's body. Also another downside for this case is that you won't be able to use those kinds of USB hubs that lays flat and neatly on the side of your laptop given that the case is giving thickness to the laptop and the USB hubs won't be able to reach the ports on the side. So this is how it looks like on the side. And as you can see, it is actually thick. So what can I say, despite of those downsides, this laptop case is a nice investment. It is really, really protecting the laptop very well. Nicely looking, very professional, and great for every occasion. What sold me out in this laptop case is that the shock resistant feature, which has these rubber patterns inside of the case that will be doing the job for the shock resistant. Addition to that, the rubber fit is actually good it does really stick into the table and doesn't slip when you are using it. So that ends my video. I hope I was able to help you out guys with your search for a new laptop case. Show some love by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Give it a like or a dislike. Feel free to comment down below any suggestions, feedback, or future content requests. See you soon on my next video. Goodbye!